Hey, what's up, guys? This is Astronax, and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. Alright, so I got a Moonlight Salmon. Let's see what I get. Let's see what I get. Can you do it from here? Like, will it say, no, you don't have enough? You can purchase one from the shop. Yeah. Alright, it works. And if I back out, it's gonna go back to the summoning screen. It doesn't. Alright, well, that's gonna be a really quick one. I mean. <laughs> oh. So much trash have been gained so far. But to be honest, in the last few ones, it uh, it's definitely usable. It's definitely usable. Well, three star. There's still some good ones. Let's see. Oh, yes! Requirem Roar! Oh, very good. Very good. Very good hero. You got Defense Break with the Combat Readiness Increase. Four turn cooldown. And then you've got this that, that heals your ally. All allies absorb 5% of the damage they each inflict as health. I mean, you can have some crazy damage dealers. And 5% is quite a bit. I mean, it's it's not like life steal, but it's, uh, it's something. But if the enemy dies, they recover 15% of their health, I believe. Is that it? Recovers 15% health. Yeah. Only activated once per turn though, but still, you, you want to have require more quick. And you've got this decrease attack debuff. It's just like such a strong debuff. Just amazing. Wow. Really feel like just. Yeah, I'm. No, I have to build her. <clears throat> I've got a builder. I mean, she's usable in so many areas of the game. I know that. The hunts now, they, uh, they are elemental uh, specific, but still, uh, such an amazing hero because just defense break is like to increase your damage output, this is by far the strongest one. You're like uh, approximately doubling your damage output with this thing when it's applied to the boss and then, well, whoever it's applied on. And not only that, but it's a 100% chance then you've got the combat readiness boost, which unfortunately cannot be increased, but it's, it's just already like this is dealing damage, this is decreasing uh, defense, and it's also boosting combat readiness. And 10 souls increases damage, but still, not only that, the thing is that Require More is dark, uh, she's elemental neutral, so you're not gonna have issues with the whole uh, miss. Uh, situation if because uh, if you are at elemental disadvantage you are uh, you have a 50 percent chance to miss your attack if you miss you cannot land any debuff you're just going to deal 75 percent uh of a normal hit and damage and uh, yeah you cannot crit and all that stuff so being uh, elemental neutral is huge so there's that and then there's the attack break it's just two of the strongest debuffs in the game right on just one hero and this goes up to 75 percent chance like uh, pretty much all one turn uh debuff on skill one usually how it goes very uh, reliable you uh you make her quick and she goes off then and uh, has a pretty good uptime on the defense down debuff and also yeah the, the boost of combat readiness across the whole team is uh, very helpful then that passive, that passive is quite good. A form of sustain. And this, healing relative to damage dealt. Healing relative to damage dealt. So yeah, this goes up to 5% more. And 10% of the damage dealt. It's like you've got... Uh, lifesteal is 20%, I believe. So you've got half the strength of the lifesteal set on everyone just from this passive and not only that this stacks with lifesteal set and this also gets boosted just uh quickly going to 
lock this hero. I'm going to have to instant 6 star her. I'm going to have to do it. What's an, an artifact that's amazing on Requirem Roar is uh, Celestine. Because she's a Soul Weaver and she, also, all, uh, she always attacks. So yeah. Now you could have, not only that, you could have... Well, it's going to be out of the rotation very soon. But if you wear uh, Shamadro's staff, it does boost the amount of uh, healing all everyone on the team is receiving. So it works with her passive. It works with other Soul Weaver if they're healing. It works with Lifesteal set. It's very strong. So there's that as well. And of course, like Celestine just heals the lowest health uh, ally uh, when using basic skill. Oh wait, it... It's basic skill, it's not single uh, single attack skill. So it doesn't work with her skill 3, because basic skill is skill 1. Okay, so my bad about that. But like, yeah, this this you, you wouldn't be using it too much, because you wouldn't put her in the front line to tank. Shimajo's staff is just very good. Of course, well, that doesn't work. So to be honest... You gotta go with a lower star artifact or uh, yeah, Celestine is uh, best bet with uh, Shimadro staff. And yeah, you can definitely put uh, Wondrous Potion Vial beginning of the turn. That that's definitely a usable one. I might just go with that because Maga Raha's Tomb. I can put that back on the in. Well, it depends if I'm using uh, them in the comp, but it depends on what I, what I need. Yeah, she can be used. I mean, you can definitely use her in uh, hunts. You can definitely use her. Uh, you can use her in PvP, uh, arena, guild war. You can let's just check the stats real quick. You can use her in raid for sure. I don't know about the mora uh, morale synergy when you're camping. There's six speed gained from awakening. Health is uh, is low, but it's not uh, Carmen Rose low, and the defense is uh, like the Banshee sister. It's it's quite high. Well, it's a Soul Weaver. It's not a mage, but yeah. Where is the speed coming from? There's attack, okay, so that, that's no big deal. Don't need to do the fifth one. Well, maybe the fifth one is speed. Yeah, definitely need that fifth one. And I've got that ready. I mean, I've, I've got all this stuff ready. That's uh. And here, what's the synergy? Chloe. Goes well with Chloe uh, while camping. But yeah, elemental nu neutral, huge. It is definitely huge. All right, so uh, it's a quick video. Uh, so I'm glad with what I got. I'm glad with what I got. I can definitely uh, just go ahead and uh, six star her. Because to be honest, it's almost like I have to make a video and let you guys decide what I'm going to six star. But to be honest, I go by priority of which hero can be used in uh, as many uh, places in the game as possible. Like, there's Tywin I'd like to have at 6 star. Um, I mean, I could use him in Wyvern, but I can already do Wyvern without him. Same thing with Chloe, like, I don't need her for Wyvern, but she'd be cool at 6 star. I wouldn't use her in uh, that many areas in the game, that's the unfortunate thing. And Yuna could be good. Watcher Shuri, very strong, like a one-shotter in, in PvP. I can definitely uh, use him in Guild War and uh, like even Arena. Just like one-shot ML Kens. Like, yes, please. So he's a contender. But Requirem Roar, I, I just like her better because I can use her in, in more places. So there's that. I mean, I could uh, do some stuff with Crozet and uh, for some videos for comp group compositions in uh, Wyvern 11 using him. I've got lots as well. 
Lots is very strong and very good for morale gain in the Labyrinth. Uh, I'm seeing... Uh, yeah, you can get like 41 morale or is it 42? You do uh, DN lots, uh, just normal Cartuja, which I would need to build, and uh, and Luna. I mean, that's one group composition, but I'm seeing a lot of uh, DN with lots together. Uh, so both of them are very strong. Uh, if I check here, yeah, DN not even here. There's just like so many options. Rosie, I, I can use him as a as a combat readiness booster, but I, I definitely need dedicated speed set with as much speed as possible just for him. Misty Chain, oh she was already triple star. Uh, triple uh, S. Misty Chain's already is another contender for a six star. But with uh, with that new one I got, which uh, I just keep on forgetting her name. Oh, it's Silk. If I sort here. Ugh. Requirem Roar. You can't use... You can't use the other Banshee sisters for, for Requirem Roar, right? You got Clary. Let's just see real quick, like, what, I do have duplicate Banshee somewhere, pretty sure, there, Carmen Rose, she's not even locked, so no, you cannot do it, you cannot do it, I have Gloomy Rain as well, but Requirem Roar is, is just on another level, to be honest, Requirem, uh, yeah, I do see Requirem Roar uh, quite a few times in PvP, just great with that CR boost and uh, defense down just in one, uh, in one skill not only that this absorb is quite useful in pvp as well it's small but i mean most of the battle is done on turn one and two so you're not gonna have some use there but maybe you can uh, yeah it, it has its use now there was silk where's she at sort by cp Oh, yeah, memory imprint right there. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait for um, attack front and bottom. Yeah, wait a second. I, I, you know, I, I like silk, but to be honest, who, who else could use the duplicate of silk? There's a uh, wanderer silk, and that's it. But I don't like the positioning. I'm just gonna lock her in wait. So front and bottom, this is just odd. I mean yes, could use the bottom one. Silk could be at the back and top or top. <clears throat> because uh, you cannot gain your own memory imprint. You don't get uh, yeah. So there's that. And who else was there? Oh there's Clary, sorry. Oh, there we go. The last one. I mean, it's not it's nothing crazy. It just helps. Better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, definitely gonna power up requirement roar. I'm not gonna rush it, but I will definitely do it. Butcher Corp. Tarnar Guard. Is he not maxed out? He is definitely not. Because <laughs> when you triple S, every few you get uh, extra covenant bookmarks. There is Rin too I can power up. But it, she's very random. She's random. And she won't be used in as many areas in the game as uh, Requirem Roar, that is for sure. And where is he at? It's supposed to be... How is this? Sorted by stars. 
I've got uh, Butcher Corp at 4 star. Oh, because it's not sorted by level, that's why. It's going to be somewhere down here, yeah. Oh, he's already triple S. All right. Well, really glad. Like, that that was a great pick. Like, it could take forever to get this hero, to be honest, even as a 3 star. But, yeah. Got, got her. Now, for gear, definitely going to go with... Uh, I mean, her speed is not uh, it's not terrible. It goes up to 106 just from uh, on her base. I'm probably just gonna go uh, like speed hit, cause I I don't need to have her on crazy damage. Like, I guess she could do some damage. I would have to go and check her multipliers. But I think like um, effectiveness is huge, cause th these two debuffs are godly. So there's that. Now skill ups is gonna be uh, quite important. Get that thing to 100% and 75% chance here because I really like uh, attack break. And uh, yeah, I mean as much speed as possible. Just rotate that stuff uh, so you get as many chances as possible uh, to just keep on attacking. Uh, just just get more chances to apply those debuffs. She can cycle through her skills, uh, well, her skill, because it's only, well, I guess skills, because they're all skills, one, two, three. Yeah, the attack is very low, definitely not going to build her for damage, so uh, it's either going to be a speed uh, hit, or it could, actually, speed hit, there is, uh, well, you could go speed HP, speed defense, you, you can go uh, speed unity, uh, so there, there's uh, quite a few options. And yeah, I'll see what I can uh, muster. And uh, what I can craft, because I'll be making some crafting videos soon enough. And yeah, really cool. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And uh, yeah, check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen. And uh, once again, good luck with the summoning, with your drops and all that stuff. All right, peace out for now.